Hello, this is Mrs. Congo, and this video is for fourth grade. Um, the students that see Mrs. Congo and Mrs. Wright, uh, we will be doing a lesson for you once per week for the next couple of weeks that we are out of school. We are going to be doing some word work, some sentences. We're going to read a book. We're going to read some chapters every week, and then you will have a response to a question you will have to answer through email to me. So we're going to start today with some word work. So I'm going to share my screen with you so that you can see what we're looking at here. Okay, so our first words that we're going to look at are invite, inviting, admit, and admitting. Now look at those words and what do you notice about the base word of all of those? So we're looking at invite and we see that here, on invite, we changed to inviting. What do you notice about what we did to the word invite? Good, we dropped the E and we added ING. On this word, admit, you notice that we did something a little different to the word admitting. What did we do to it? We didn't just add ING, but we added a T, A-D-M-I-T-T-I-N-G. So when you have the T, you're going to add the second T with it. When you have the word invite, you're going to drop the E and add ING. So look at, let's look at the first sentence. The first sentence says, I am going to invite you to my house. And here we have the word invite. The next sentence, I am inviting you to my house. And you can see that I have underlined the base word, invite inviting. So we took that E off and we added ING. The next sentence is one ticket will admit you to the game. And again, we have the word admit. We took that same one and we changed it. And we added an ED to it. So it's the same thing as adding ING, but we added the ED to it. So we are admitted into the game. So we have some other words down here. Create, permit, provide. And we're gonna change these words. So when we have the word create and I wanna make it created, what would we do to the word create? Right, we would just add a D. So it would become C-R-E-A-T-E. D, and you can practice writing those as well. Okay, the next thing that we're going to do to create is we're going to add ing. So, kind of like this word up here at the top that we did invite, we're going to delete that e and add ing. So, it would be c r e a t, drop the e, and add ing. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing to permit. If we wanted to make it permitted, what are we gonna do? Kind of like the word up here that we did admitted. So we would make it P-E-R-M-I-T. We're gonna add that extra T and add E-D, permitted. Now we want to make it permitting. So we're going to do the same thing. P-E-R-M-I-T-T-I-N-G. So we're going to add that second T as well. Now we have provide and we're going to make it provided. So the same thing like create and invite, we're going to make it provided. P-R-O-V-I-D-E-D. -E -E. Just add the D to the end. And the last word we're going to do is providing. So we're going to drop that E and add ING. P-R-O-V-I-D-I-N-G, providing. So what you could do for yourself is you could try to come up with your own um, couple words. See if you can figure out two words that you would do. Drop the E and add ING or add an extra T and add ED or ING. And in your email that you send back to me, you could even 
show me a couple of your own sentences that you did with these words. Instead of create, permit, provide, or even invite or admit, find a different word. Find a couple of different words and show me. So now I'm going to talk about our book. So you're going to go to epic.com and you're going to look, you're going to search for the word or for the book like pickle juice on a cookie. So that book sounds kind of silly and I'm going to give you a little background behind it. So the book is called Like Pickle Juice on a Cookie and the author is Julie Sternberg and the illustrator is Matthew Cordell. So Eleanor's beloved babysitter, Bibi, is moving away and suddenly the things she used to enjoy aren't fun anymore. So everything reminds her of Bibi and it's really hard for her. So you're going to read about her, Eleanor, and you're going to see why it's so hard for her and what happens. So there are 27 chapters in this book and you're going to read a couple a week. And I have it all figured out as to what chapters you're going to read each week. And I will let, list those below each time. And you're going to read them. And then at the end of the week, I'm going to send you a question through email and you're going to respond to that email through your email with your response. So kind of like a summary of the chapters you've read or you would just answer whatever question I have for you. So some of the, the characters that I want to go over their names because they are kind of different are Eleanor. She's the main character of the book. And then there's Bibi, who's her babysitter. And then you're going to meet Agnes, Natalie, Pearl, and there's going to be a few others that you meet as well. So I can't wait to see what you think about the book. It is a little funny and has little twists here and there, but you're going to read about these these characters. And the chapters you're going to read this week is one through six. Now you might say, well, those are a lot of chapters, but really they're not. They're short. The very beginning ones are shorter. So you're going to read chapters one through six, and then you're going to respond to my question at the end of the week through email. So if you need help getting through to epic.com or you don't know how to do get there or search for the book, and the book is called Like Pickle Juice on a Cookie, you're going to search for that book and it'll show you on the screen, and then you're gonna read the first six chapters, and on Friday, you're gonna to respond to a question for me. If you need help, just reach out to me. Um, my email, go through my email at school, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, enjoy, bye.